Hello everyone, this is Tom Morley from T3D. This video is going to be about downloading and setting up some default folder structures for the Godot game engine. You can get the engine by going to www.godotengine.org. The section that we'll be interested in is the download section. Now there are three files that we'll need in order to follow along with the tutorials on my channel. You'll need the engine itself, which will be in the binaries section. Just download the binary that goes with your operating system. In my case it was Linux. I have a 64-bit version of Linux so I downloaded the x11.64 file. You'll also need the exporter for Blender and the export templates. Without the export templates you're not going to be able to export your game to run on a particular operating system or device. So you're not going to be able to export it to say for instance your Android phone without these templates here. We'll be using version 1.1 for the tutorial series so make sure that you have 1.1 or newer. So go ahead and pause the video until your downloads are complete. Okay, so you've downloaded the three files that you need to follow along with the tutorials. Now create a folder somewhere. In this case, I put it on my desktop and I named it Godot. And place the three files that you downloaded into that folder. We'll need to create some additional folders to make it easier to maintain the projects that we create with the Godot engine. So let's create a project folder. And you'll notice that um, I used an uppercase letter for the first character of the name of the folder. I do this just because it's going to make it easier to understand what's a file and what's a folder in your game projects later on. It's just my personal preference. You don't have to follow that, but it might make things easier in the long run for you. So we've created this folder called Project. Now we also need a folder to hold all of our source data. So let's create another fold, folder called source. And in that source folder let's create um, a folder for our audio files. We'll create another folder for our image files. And one more to hold our font files. Okay, so we've created a project folder and a source folder that contains an audio, a font, and an image folder. And that basically is the default structure that um, I like to use when I'm creating projects using the Godot engine. Okay, so we've downloaded the three files we need, we've set up some default folder structures, and we're ready to go. In this next section, I'm not going to go into great detail about all aspects of the engine. I just need to make sure that everybody can create a new project, export that project as an executable, and run it on their operating system. If you can do that, then we're good to go for the following tutorials. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is double click on the executable itself. In Linux, it won't be an executable executable you'll need to mark it as one and run it and it will open up to a blank project manager so let's create a new project we're gonna to browse to our folder in my case it is on the desktop there's our Gato folder projects and we're going to create a new folder because it's a new project and we're gonna call it intro and we're going to click open. By default the project name will be the same as the folder. That's great for us. We're just going to leave it as intro and click create. So you'll see that it created a new project here and you'll see in our intro folder it created a couple of files and an icon as well. These files are controlled by the game engine itself and should not be modified manually. So let's double click and open that. The engine defaults to the 3D tab. We won't be using the 3D tab in this tutorial. Click on the 2D tab. And just to make sure that I don't 
forget to tell you a specific key that I'm clicking on, I'm going to open my key monitor and uh, it'll be here in the lower right so that anything that I type or click you'll see it over here. In the 2D environment you can use the middle mouse button and scroll it up and down to zoom in and out in the display port. You can also click the middle mouse button and drag your view around. We are going to create a new icon right in the middle that says hello world. So go over here to the icon where we can add or create a new node. Click on it. We're going to scroll down to the label that's going to be in the green section of the nodes. Double click on it you see it creates a new label and it puts it right up here at the coordinates of 0.0. .0. We're going to move that down to the middle by clicking on the move icon in the upper left. Okay, We're going to left click and drag that down to the middle. We're going to make sure it's highlighted. We're going to come down here to text, left click in there and put in hello world press enter. <clears throat> you see they created an icon that says hello world right in the center of our screen. So let's uh, make sure that that will run in our operating system. Click the play the project button and when you click that it's going to complain and it's going to complain because we've never saved this new scene. So do we want to save it before running? Click yes. It defaults to new scene dot scene. We are going to call that intro dot SCN and click save. And it's still complaining. It says no main scene has ever been defined. Select one from the project settings under the application category. Okay, we'll do that. Go up to here where it says scene, click on it, go down to project settings, and you'll see in the application section our main scene is blank. We need to tell it we want to use the intro scene. So click on the folder, click file, and intro scene. And then you can close this. So now when we click on the button to play the project, it's going to play the intro scene. Ta-da! Congratulations, you've just created your first application using the Gato game engine. But that's, uh, that's great so you've created your application. How do I actually make it an executable to run on my operating system? There's an additional step that we need to do to export this to our operating system. So let's go ahead and close this. The next step is we need to import these export templates into the Godot game engine. So we do that by clicking on settings here and clicking on install export templates. So we click that then we need to get to our folder where the file is, click on the template file itself and click on open and you'll see that it starts to install all of the exports it needs. Once that's done you are good to go. Then you can come up here and click on the export tab and you'll see all the different operating systems and um, Android devices, HTML5 that you can export your application to. I'm going to click on Linux because I want to export it to my operating system and I'm going to export it as a 64-bit executable. So click on Linux, make sure that's selected. If you're in Windows, click on Windows. Click on Export. Okay, I'm going to go up to my Godot folder and I'm just going to save it as my intro and then I'm going I don't need it to be in debugging mode so I'm going to turn my debugging off and then I'm going to click OK and it will export my project to my Godot folder and there it is there's my my intro so if I want to run it I just double click on it under Linux again I need to make it executable 
So now that it's an executable, I'll try and run it, and it pops up, hello world. So my um, development environment for the Godot engine is up and running and good to go. So I hope you've learned something. I hope you set up the Godot engine so that you're ready to follow along with the tutorials that are coming down the road. We're going to have a lot of fun, so um, click subscribe, like this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.